simple, it's a step-by-step -step approach. So just check it out, we're gonna go really slow through this. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna think about getting the toes up. We do not wanna start our skill, our back flip, by throwing the head back and arch. We want everything to come from the feet. Okay, so that's what the first thing before you do anything is we're gonna focus on getting the toes up. Okay, so have that here, here. Toes are tight. You don't want them to hang on. You want them straight here. And the toes are gonna come up. Position this and the toes are coming up. If I'm here, she can't throw her head back because then she'll hit my shoulder. You want the athlete to do it themselves. I am not lifting or doing anything. She is creating all the rotation from her toes here. One more. A little bit high. Once we get to about here, that's when they can start thinking about rolling over. This is where I'll stand and I'll walk them around and they'll pull. Ready? Wait till you get to the Guys, so that was step number one. So now that we know they know how to get their toes up, we've done hundreds of these already. We're not skipping steps here. We're doing it over a couple months period before they start moving on to the next steps just to get really ingrained in the back of the head. Now we're gonna start thinking about going to the side. It's gonna be a little easier for the coach. The athletes also be more independent on their own. Okay? So what we want is the exact same thing. They're gonna focus on kicking the toes up like we did in the first step, and then they're gonna roll over. If the athlete starts chickening out and cheating early, then we go back a step to the first one. Never keep going if there's a mistake. One, two, three. Do not ever let go of the athlete. Try to have an anchor always. What happens then is that they fly back, the little kids running across, they hit the kid, they hit themselves. We don't need that. Always wait until they stop moving, then you can go. Back up, and the toes are up. 
jump with them so they don't feel like I'm taking their bounce. As soon as they take off, then I, I stop and I stay here. If I'm in the air, when she's in the air, now we're both gonna fly off. Okay? The coach needs to be grabbed by the trampoline when the person is actually being scared. One more. Watch closely to my feet. One, two, and I'm absorbing the landing. I'm killing her bounce a little bit. So if she goes, I have the control. I can totally stop her up or I can go bounce. I can go bounce her. Right? One, two, three. I can go bounce her out if I want to. But I'm trying to kill her bounce and slow her down. Okay, so now we've done the back tuck with a nice takeoff and then tuck the The back pike is no different. You're still getting that layout takeoff, but piking instead of tucking. So it's no different. So yes, you're absolutely getting this pretty quick. chest back a little bit as you can see Megan here is just a little because she hasn't done enough numbers 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 then there's a little drill here where you can do try to get that chest going forward what's happening on a back pike is if this is your upper half and this is your lower half and you're going this way you're jumping and the feet are coming up actually as the chest is dropping down but the feet are coming up with more power so you still rotate backwards so you do not initiate backwards with the chest you're actually going forward and then making the feet move your chest Here's a drill I like to do. The athletes can do it on their own. Thousands of them. Okay. And you can see she still wants to lean a little bit here. It's all so ingrained into her head. Instead of thinking forward, she's thinking what? Back and then forward. We're back in the back. Okay? 
Okay, so now we down back tuck, we down back pipe. We've worked on the shoulder mechanics, isolating the shoulders, just working on getting the toes up. So now we're going to the back layout. So all they gotta do is take off here, keep the shoulders back, flip the toe. Nothing more. So we're gonna go back a step and remember, okay, we gotta go here, back down. So we're gonna do it with the shoulders. Trying to make sure that she's not starting like this. She's keeping this all straight, kicking from the top. One, two, three. You can see there's still a little bit of an arch. That means she got some condition. Come on, Maggie. She, she knew she leaned back. You're like, oh. But she wanted to strap it down just here, not here. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that was way better. There we go. Okay, so we've now done the double squat from the side. Toes are looking pretty good. Very minimal movement here, the less the better. And now we're going to move on to the side squat for only one hand this time. On their own, we don't want to have them thinking we're going to do the trick for them. We want an independent athlete, not one that's begging for our attention, asking what's going to happen. We want them to figure it out on their own, and we want to help them first. Okay, so we're going to go. Just one hand is going to be here, just guiding them, reminding them to stand it upwards rather than pushing them back. That's all it is.
Okay, so we are ready now. A lot of people need to do double layouts, double backs, all that kind of stuff. We want to get them progressing to that. As long as we don't sacrifice our shoulders or our kick on the takeoff, we can progress up to triples, quads, whatever it is. But no matter how many flips you want to do, it all comes from the toes. Never from the hips, never from the shoulders, and never from the sheep. Okay? Over here, we're going to say, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go right to her back. She's just going to have to kick harder. Takeoff doesn't change. Nothing else is different. She just needs more power here. You may get more power by doing thousands of them and lots of condition. Nothing more. There's nothing different here or here. Do the same thing. I'm going to tell her as she takes off that I want her to stay here. Only when I say now is she going to snap her arms in like this and get that extra rotation and go to the back. As we saw in the last step, she did her back layout with her arms here with extra length of another foot. So when she snaps in, she's gonna speed right up, and that's what she wants to do. The takeoff on the toes, and then the snap in after. seven, eight months spotting, getting the toes up, toes up. I make different drills where I don't have to hand spot each one, but they would stand there, get the toes up right here. This back out same thing. this motion over and over and over again. So it's automatically bring to their head, then you start building up. And guys, that's it. Thank you so much, man. For all the help. <laughs> for the whole time. All right, thanks guys. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat now, and uh, check out uh, High Energy, and they're going to be all in the description, all that sort of stuff. Thanks guys.